we have this 1985 Hummer. This car came in here with a power steering problem. We had to drive this thing in here with no power steering. So if this thing does not have power steering, I literally broke my arms almost. Bringing this car inside the damn shop. This thing does not function without power steering at all. So God forbid, if you lost your power steering while you're in war with a car like this, I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, we're doing a new power steering pump on this car. We're waiting for the part to arrive today. Hopefully we get it in. Once we get it in, we're gonna put it in and then hopefully we can test drive this thing before the day's over. We'll show you guys how cool this thing looks on the street. If you guys are familiar with this 85 Hummer, this monster here had no power steering a couple days ago. So everything's done now. We have a brand new power steering pump in this car. We took it out for a drive. It feels as smooth as a new Lexus, honestly, I swear. As big as it is, as rough as it looks, it rides very smooth. Brand new power steering pump, new steering, done deal. This guy always bothered me. See, right now, we have almost done with this thing. We put everything already. So it's waiting for Javier. He's working on the pipe for the muffler. So you're gonna hear sounds maybe better. Javier is doing a great job down there. Just the chrome. Seguro? Puta, se mira, se mira como muy afuera, esta. Ah, no hay pedo. Sí, Ay, pero... sí hay, porque se ve muy afuera. No, 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 no. Ya, ya no, ya no, ¿Ahí? Ya, no, ya no queda muy adentro. Está la curva, va atrás. Ahí está. Oye, tiene shape, ¿no? Por eso, tiene, güey. ¿Qué es el problema? ¿Qué es el problema? No, no, no. Javier dice que no, no fit. Moses really wanted to film this, but I'm hijacking it from him. You know, he loves his mechanic jobs. I'm sitting in a 1968 or 63 Continental, obviously with suicide doors. OG, look at this paint color. It's like a light, light blue with dark blue inside with wood. These cars are very, very well known for obviously their suicide doors, the convertible top for 1963. But these tops are very, very sophisticated. And uh, to fix them, only a few people in the world could do them. But right now, we're gonna open the top, actually close it, and just check out how this mechanism works. The top opens and actually unthreads itself because it threads itself into the car, and then the top actually completely folds open. So it takes some time, but let's do it. This is amazing, man. I love it. Dude, it's incredible how smart they were. They were back in 1963. It's amazing. You gotta give props to this. This is really nice. As you can see right here, I mean, look at all the electronics and components here. This thing threads into the trunk, so it pulls it down. You see all those relays down there. This car actually itself has so many relays, it's ridiculous. But I mean, look at this thing. This thing opens, closes when the top goes down. You have a big compartment here. If uh, you were to shove, you know, a certain person like Moses in there, he can't get out because there was no safety locks on these cars, obviously. But yeah, we're doing a bunch of mechanical work on this. We actually already did it. We're gonna be doing stereo upgrades next. So yeah, really cool 1963 Continental convertible. The seat is loose. Why? Javier installed the seat and messed everything up. You can't do anything right, this guy. I mean, it's a nice Ferrari though. 458 Spider, baby. It's new repairs. Uh, somebody damaged the hood, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna adjust the seat too. Damn it! Whew. Not my cup of tea. Moses, 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 Moses from every damn angle, every corner. Am I the only employee here? That's it. I'm going to retirement. I'm seriously done. I'm going to retirement. That's it. Even if the government gives me no money, I'm retiring. I'm, I'm done. I'm tired of it. I'm sick. Ooh, coming out good. We are making the radio sound system, bringing it back to life. Mechanical is done already on this. Everything's good to go. Last step is the radio sound system, and we're good to go. All right, so ow, too old for this shit. So on this 63 Continental, customer also wanted a rear view camera. That's what we did. And we have a camera right there because there's nowhere else to put it on this car, actually. Only problem is somebody steals the uh, license plate, the camera's gone. So we got to be careful. So we got to make sure the license plate is nice and tight. It's really loose right now. Tony, you left it loose? Okay, he's gonna adjust it and then we'll go ahead and uh, screw it up really good. Because again, the license plate disappears, the camera's gone. Now this is nice. 
We have a seven inch CarPlay Pioneer upgrade on the 63 Continental. Customers are gonna love this thing. This is really nice, you guys. Beautiful. I just think it looks nice because it's new. I don't know much about it, but it's nice and shiny. That's all that matters. It looks good. I'm sure it's gonna sound good too. How come it says Gigi Papa Sassas? We have a parking problem. We're full, parking lot's full, shop is full, so this is just temporary parking. We're gonna move it right now. It's just another day for you and me in paradise. It's just another day for you. One car after the other, huh? Oh my god, look at this. That's good, man. That's good. We bless much work. If I don't have a work, I prefer to go home. You gotta clean up before the new car? Yeah, more for this. <laughs> Come on, Baba! Purate! Okay, remember. I'm going home! The first thing we're gonna do is test with the wheels. But we'll put that flare on temporary. Oh, you know what? All these wheels come off too. We're gonna to power stuff. to announce another wide body Urus. This belongs to Gonga Tattoo. He's a really, really crazy tattoo artist tattooing literally every celebrity athlete in the game right now. And he got a black Urus and he wanted to do a wide body transformation on it. And here you go. This thing was completely black. There was nothing on it, completely stock. And now it has the 1016 Industries complete wide body kit. It has everything on the exterior, as you could see. Carbon fiber, this is not FRP. A carbon fiber lip, hood, flares, rocker panels, the rear diffuser, wings, everything. We also did a IP exhaust system on it with custom exhaust carbon fiber tips. We actually custom made those and put them on. This car has RDB signature 23 inch wheels as well. Stock tire fitment looks great. Obviously, we have a, a very aggressive fitment. We didn't slam the car too much, make it still very, very practical, drivable. And then, of course, the color change. Matte dark gray wrap right here. This is a very, very popular wrap color. We used to do this a lot, maybe eight years ago. One of our favorite wrap colors, and it looks really good on the Urus, of course. So, yeah, really, really happy with it. He's super excited. He's gonna come pick it up right now. It is raining, starting to rain right now in LA. It's been very weird weather, so bear with us on that. But it is gloomy, and I think the car is gonna come out really nice on the shots that Zumi is taking right now. Super excited about that. But yeah, let us know your thoughts on the Zerus. We have more coming. The next wide body project, of course, is that Cullinan. A lot to go on that. We have a lot of new RDB wheel designs coming up too. Super happy with that. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't get more perfect than this Zerus right here. 